So I'm here with RAP and we're checking out the hard working, which I believe is an industrial ship. Do you want to tell me a little bit more about it? Well, when I was building this, I wanted a um, medium class ship and I wanted it to look like it was a bunch of ships docked to one harvester thing and um, I think I accomplished that. Ah, okay. So it's made to look like you've got three ships docked on top of the salvager array. Four. Four. Count the one underneath. Oh, okay. I haven't, I haven't got to the bottom yet. And you've got a nice docking section on the top platform and there. This, and there's one on the bottom too. Ah, we've got lots of engines. I like the engine design. It's nice and simple. Thank you. And then it's interesting that you've got yellow with green. It's an in, it's a good combination actually. The yellow hull corner with the yellow, uh, sorry, the yellow, <laughs> yellow hulls with the green lighting. And it, I think you have used a green corner piece. No, it's just the lighting. Is it just the lighting? It interesting, is. interesting. Okay, well, regardless, it looks good. It's more of a look at it. It is, yeah, yeah. It looks good. And then we've got ice crystal up front. Oh, okay, beautiful. And coming back round to the front, so we've got a really big salvager array. And then are these BB missiles? Yes, they are. Oh, good. So we've got some, a little bit of punch there. Uh, does it have AMCs tucked away in there? Oh, no, it's just salvagers. Oh, um, that, that's front, cool. The front salvagers that you see, they're not actually connected. It's supposed to look like one big one, but it's not. Oh, how did you manage that then? I just don't connect them to the computer. <laughs> ah, that is really good. So, the, so you only lost like one layer. No, of, of, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's 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 clever. That's a really good way of keeping and, it clean without losing the bonus. So yeah. So just so that people, in case people didn't get that, you can do your waffle, but just don't link the one that touches, and then it will look nice and clean. Even and then you'll get good performance from it. That's beautiful. Uh, it's elegant. You, well done, mate. Well done. When I did my waffle, I put another set for waffle on, um, on on in between, so it's a full set. Excellent. I like seeing people doing that. That's good. So then you get full use. Do you wanna? Uh, where's the uh, core? Is it up here? Yes. I got gravity in right there at the bottom. Okay. It has an interior. Check this out here, shall we? Oh no, of course I'm going to need a guided oh. tour. Okay, sorry. So um, I got the inside here. Yep. And I got um windows here. Nice. Blast shield um, it windows. Does, it does come with a cloaker and jammer, but they don't really work. They're just nice little stations I made. Yeah. And then I got plague storage on either side. Yep. Then I got the main window here. Oh, excellent. That's real nice, yeah, yeah. We come down here, this is the salvager, and I have a plate store in front of it too. Excellent. That's cool. And <laughs> I got... We got salvage computer, I got the main window here. nice chairs, nice chairs, more windows, and this is, is, is this the, the bed or a table? That's a bench. The bench. bench in the um, corner over there. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was trying to make like a cooking station here, but I kind of ran out of ideas. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. It's kind of hard, isn't it, to yeah. work out? Yeah, but you know, no, I like the interior in here. It's really inventive. I like how you've left that open as well. It actually makes it look a bit more like a like some kind of ca uh, cabinet. Yeah, cabinet. That's the word I was looking for. Yeah. Uh, what's down the opposite side then? Um, it's the same thing as mirrored, but it just has the uh, missile computer in there. Oh, it right. Just open everything up for you. What I really like about the ship is the uh, these windows in the front here. If you look on the outside, they're indented, and it looks really nice. Hmm. Yeah, I, I was testing this on a planet, and I was going in a circle, and it carved out a perfect circle on the bottom of it. Yeah, they're very, very good, mate. Very good. 
Let's see. I think that you can't salvage the ballistics gel without killing it. So we'll work out a uh, salvaging challenge. Okay. So looking at the hard working by RIP. And we've got a mass of 3,540. Length 78, height 41, width 53. Got a power of 34,864. Okay, we got a uh, power recharge of 699,000 per second. And then we've got a thrust of 4,105. The turning speed is 1.1 on the X, 1.2 on the Y, and 1.1 on the Z. And we've got 320,000 shields with 9,945 energy per second recharge and a recovery of three. So that's the hard working by RIP. I love the way you've done that, the clean salvages on the front. That is really good. I, I, I've never seen anyone do that. I mean, I, maybe I, you know, I don't get to watch as many Star Made videos now because <laughs> I'm always... <laughs> And we've been quite busy lately with the regatta and all the planning, but um, but yeah, uh, I haven't seen anything like that. Um, but yeah, it's very good. I like it. Bottom line, and also the decision to go with blue lights for the floor. Some people would have like thought that was a bit too much, but I think that works really well for your. I didn't want. I want something subtle as well. I wanted. Yeah. No, but it works because sometimes when you go with something strong, you know, it stands out quite a lot and it doesn't fit. And then you're like, ah, oh. but that actually, the blue and the green actually complement the yellow and the gray, which is something I would never have thought of doing. Oh, and I nearly, I nearly completely missed the detailing up here on the top of your control area where you've got thrusters at the back. Yeah. The detail on the top there with the counter, uh, uh, how would you say that, wedges. You've got yellow wedges in with the black. And that is beautiful. Because at a distance. This thing, this thing has like six plus cockpits too, so. Oh man. There's a lot of little detail points up on here which people learning to play the game can take elements from this and really learn quite a bit actually uh, about sort of modeling their own ship elements. It's like, look at this window here where it's curved, it's, it's concave, isn't it? Yeah. So you, you don't see many, you don't see many concave uh, designs on the uh, cockpit glass. So that's cool, and I must admit, I wouldn't be able to do that anyway because I would use water. And it's in a way, I wish we had a water wedge. <laughs> <laughs> well, I noticed when I was playing with the water that it just doesn't work in some situations, and I prefer the glass more than I do the water. In yeah, some things. it depends if you want to see. The way I've seen it is, if you want the frame, you're going to want glass. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right, let's uh, head back out of the ship. Let's see what we can find. Do, 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 do. So we're gonna go on and look at your next one, buddy. So, All right. what's the next one called? Um, the Beetle Gunship. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> so we're gonna take a look at his next ship in the following video. So if you're watching this, thanks ever so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.